Hey guys, what's up? This video is on multi camera editing. Ooh, ah. I'm just gonna go ahead and set my project up here so we're all set to go. And right away, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to File. I'm gonna open this multi camera project. Now, this is some stock footage I got from Sunny Creative Software's The Seminar series. If you wanna purchase that, go to sunnycreativesoftware.com and click on the link on the home page for the seminar series it's eighty nine dollars for the down it's like eighty some dollars for the download and ninety some dollars for the actual purchased product and keep in mind the purchase product does include some shipping charges that are not included in the purchase price So, with that being said let's move on let's go ahead and create a multi-camera track to do that we highlight all four tracks we go to tools multi-camera and then this is the new one, create multi-camera track. This is not new. If you've never known it's there, well, now you know. Click, <coughs> click that. Ugh, excuse me. Once you've clicked that button, we are going to go ahead and go into multi-camera edit mode. Now, this is the first change between Vegas Pro 9 and Vegas Pro 10 is now you are able to if you go to if you have more than one monitor like I do you guys can't see it but if you have more than one monitor what you can do is you can go to tools multicam show oops I have to do that again multi camera show full frame and external monitor so now you're seeing your shot calls in this monitor and the full what the shot actually looks like full frame in the other monitor. I'm going to downgrade my quality just so I can see what I'm doing here. And I'm going to play through my project and make my call, my cuts. So I'm going to do that now. And if you want to make crossfades before I start, hold the control key. That will create crossfades instead of butt cuts. So here we go. Okay, so you get the idea. Um, you know what? I'm going to pause the video, and I will make the shots. But you've seen how to do it. I'll just quickly do it the right way. Okay, so I've gone ahead and I've made all my calls, and I've used the two-monitor display. Now, to get out of multi-cam edit mode, all you have to do is hit Control-Shift-D, and your preview will go back to the standard one video frame or one video feed and you can see I've got some nice crossfades I've went from one to three now we'll go to camera two now to four we'll stay on four for a little bit and go to two or three and we end on three okay so it's pretty good now let's say I want to change from here to here I'm not happy I just want to stay on camera hmm, camera two so let's go ahead and open up multi-camera editing with the time selection made I can click on two in here and now watch what happens when I play I jump to two and actually what I should do is get out of that it changes everything to two so that's just in our way. Now, if you really want to just recall the entire thing, go ahead and make it another time selection. Control Shift D, bring it back to camera one. Just bring it all back to camera one, and you'll have one video stream again. And Let's say you have a ton of different camera calls, and I'm just going to make kind of a few of them here. Okay, so I've made a couple different camera calls. Let's say I want to break this back up into a multiple track project again. Go to Options. I'm sorry, Tools, Multi-Camera, Expand to Multiple Tracks. If you want to keep the tracks unused tracks as muted events go ahead and click yes if you don't click no if you click no though you won't be able to recombine this into a multi-cam track if you've made a lot of edits after I'm gonna click yes 
and you'll see what happens. It mutes all the events that were not used at the point of cut. It only unmutes the camera that's live at what point in time. So, I can turn off multicam edit mode, and that's multicam editing for you. Have a great day, guys. I will see you in the next video tutorial. Peace.